When you ask most people why they chose to build a tiny house, the answer is normally freedom. Freedom from high overheads, freedom to make different choices in life, freedom to choose where you want to be in the world. And that's exactly the case with this next inspiring woman who built the most exquisite tiny home for her and her daughter. Hi, Kirsty. How are you? Hi, so good. It's lovely to meet you. What a beautiful home you've got here. Thank you. It's absolutely lovely. It's like a safe, nurturing, beautiful spot in the peaceful bush. So Gorgeous position for it too. Oh, the sun is just so beautiful in the morning. Like I can sit on my laptop working and be like in shorts and t-shirt in the middle of winter, which is amazing. Absolutely. And the orchard here is just dreamy. Oh, the orchard is just so beautiful. Like Emmy can pick fresh mandarins off the tree. We can run out and grab limes off the tree for dinner. Or we've even been doing the edible weeds. Like we harvest chickweed that grows under them as well. So... I'll be cooking a stir fry and you'll go out and grab some chickweed to have some fresh greens and stuff on our dinners and so yeah it's magical it's so magical absolutely and what an incredible place for the young one. Oh, so amazing yeah one of my really good friends has just moved in the cottage next door with her four-year-old and then another family with their four-year-old and one and a half year old so kids just have the best time this is the village. We're doing the village. Perfect. Yeah. I love it. How was it that you found the parking spot? So I focus a lot on my visualizations, what I want to create and how I wanted to feel when I was living in my tiny house. And then I posted all over Facebook. I did a photo of me and Emmy and I said, this is us. We love organic gardening and we want to be around like-minded people. And then my amazing friend Molly connected me with Alice came out and had a walk around and the kids just ran around and played and here we are. Perfect, here you Perfect. are. Perfect. You yeah. made it happen. Yeah, we made it happen. And what was the inspiration behind building the tiny house? I grew up on a farm in Danny Burke and just loved the expansiveness of living in a rural space. And then when I separated from my partner a year and a half ago, it was just the obvious next step for me to be able to live that rural lifestyle and then have the freedom of owning my own tiny house. And you've created such a nice outdoor area as well with your veggie gardens mm. and the fire pit. Mm, thank you. I wanted to get the veg patch in for me to feel like grounded and happy in my spot. I need some vegetables, although they've really struggled over the with all the rain and stuff, but feels good to have it in. I did a trade um, with a Byron Bay gardener that was living here. So right. I did some business coaching with him and he built this amazing garden bed for me, which is wicked. Then the fire pit is actually Alice, the neighbors, she bought it over. So we've become the fire pit bonfire place. So everyone comes here for marshmallows. That's a nice role to have. <laughs> Is really yeah so I always have to have a giant pack of marshmallows in my house and now can we talk about the house what size is it yeah so this is a three meters wide by 8.4 long and 4.3 high it's very striking with its all black exterior yeah yeah I love that it's just like fresh and modern and yeah we've got like the black outdoor furniture and I've just stained my steps a darker color you know so I love it all ties in it all ties in and it's very open with all of the glazing as well yeah like like these are all bifolding windows like every morning it gives me great joy to open up all of my windows into this beautiful sunshine so, i'm sure it does yeah. well i can't wait to see inside the home can we take a look yeah come on in thank you oh what a lovely spacious home this is mm, thank you i love the feeling of you know expansiveness and having the big tall roof when you walk in just feels really open and yeah. It's quite interesting because when you do walk into a tiny house that has the sort of really high roof, it does feel way more expansive than when you're used to sort of walking into a conventional, say, 2.4 meter stud height home because you do have that extra height and it does just really all expand out around you, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And one of my favorite parts was adding in all my beautiful plants. Like, I love my plants, so it gave me great joy being able to hang them and put them all up and yeah, that was an extra add on, getting them up there and in my place to be like surrounded by plants and super green, so yeah. Nice, and I love the way the stairs are done in this house too. That actually makes for quite a nice feature, doesn't it? 
it's amazing and the storage under the stairs is just like it's more storage than I had in my last like proper house so the storage under the stairs is just really clever and then yeah have them going up to the two loft bedrooms is yeah it's perfect and expansive kitchen design in this home too yeah, it's really clever. I wanted a space where you could sit and have the bench seats as well as like lots of kitchen space, full-size fridge and oven. And I love my bio-folding windows that open up, that look out. And yeah, it's everything I need. There's so much storage and then really clever. The um, washing machine is tucked in away under all that as well. So Perfect. Yeah. What a good design. And plenty of space to work in this kitchen. Oh, so much space. We have had, I think, the most people for dinner. There was nine people here for dinner. And in the winter. So yeah, I think the kids are all upstairs and then we can do roll feeding along here and then there is a pull-out table, custom-made beautiful pull-out table that can go up here around the couch as well. That's a lovely feature. Yes, yeah. So that is, yeah, hand-built by Chris. Um, that is a great feature. It's so important to have the ability to host people in a home, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. For me, I've hosted more people here than what I did in my last home just because of the bonfire and the town kids and my friends, like, they love coming out. And so we do um, a Tuesday night dinner either here or one of my friends' houses. It's all like, yeah, we all get together every Tuesday night. That's so nice. And speaking of the lounge, again, this is just so spacious and I love the way you've got this huge wraparound couch. I love the couch because I think I can fit more friends here than I could in my other place. And this, we call this the book nook. So we um, read books here in the sun, which is really amazing. Yeah. I covered the couch myself. Like I've done all the soft furnishings myself, which is really satisfying, like going to Spotlight and choosing the beautiful green fabric and then buying all the cushions. So it feels like deeply fulfilling to have done it and created it, you know, done the soft furnishings myself. Absolutely. Yeah. And then this turns into a double bed and all of the storage under here, like I've got a whole one spare. So I've got like excess storage. It's so. essential, isn't it? Yeah. No television here though? Yeah, we don't have a TV. I haven't had a TV now probably for seven or eight years, which has been really amazing for me. Yeah, great job. Yeah, and I obviously watch you guys' YouTube channel and a few other amazing channels on YouTube, but yeah, otherwise not having a TV or like being able to consciously choose what you watch rather than just watch like the least worst thing on a TV is like really important, yeah. <laughs> I totally get it. And with this lounge design, way more important than television is all of these windows, which just gives you the most beautiful view into the orchard. Yeah, it's incredible. And my friend Ashka makes these gorgeous like window crystals. So you get the, when the sun shines through them, all of the rainbows all around the house and the light beams and stuff. So yeah, it's very magical. Beautiful. Yeah. And can we have a look in the bathroom? Yeah, come on in, let's right. go. Hey, this is really nicely done. I love all the timber in here. Yeah, thank you. It's a beautiful feature. And my plant shelves, I'm all about my, my greenery and, you know, bringing the greenery in. And the timber is really warm. I love how this floating shelf, I can store my towels under here, which is amazing. And yeah, it's actually really spacious. Yeah, definitely adds so much character to the space as well. And you can tell this is a very handcrafted bathroom, eh? Yeah, the builder has done an incredible job on it and everything is just so well thought out. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got the composting toilet there. I love it. Like that was one of the things like probably most people are apprehensive about, right? Sure. But honestly, it's like the most satisfying thing. Pooping into a bucket. <laughs> It's so satisfying, which is like my friends just crack up at me. I'm like, honestly, I love it. It just feels really satisfying to know, you know. But yeah, it's fully normal now for us, yeah. And you've got a really great size shower here. Yeah, the shower is huge and Emmy can have a bath in there. I've got a big tub that we fill up for her and she sits in there having a great time. So big, beautiful shower. And upstairs we've got the sleeping lofts. Can we check those out? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, Emmy loves it. And when she first walked up the stairs and first ever came in here, she said, Mummy, we live in the clouds. 
Oh, and you do, you've got the most amazing treehouse views from up here, looking out over the gorgeous blossoms. Yeah, it's stunning. Emmy's got the best views in her room, out over the orchard, and then this side up through the valley as well. And how old is Emmy now? She's four and a half and three quarters, if you ask her. She'll say she's four and a half and three quarters. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kids just love sleeping lofts, don't they? Yeah, it's so exciting for her. And I think like every time her friends come up to climb up the stairs and be in this safe little beautiful nook. And she's got everything that she needs. Yeah, lots of space for all of her toys and to play up here as well. There's so much storage and she's got a couple of toy storage downstairs, but... The kids will literally play up here for hours, which is just so nice. Yeah. yeah. What would you say the secret to successfully parenting in a tiny house is? It's simplicity. So for us, we had the day off together the other day and I said to her, what do you want to do today? You know, we can go anywhere, we can do anything. And she said, I want to stay at home. So we cruised around the land, went and picked some avocados and picked some flowers for the neighbours. And, you know, so it's the simplicity of having everything we need here and not leaving. Yeah, mm. I totally understand that. And your loft is over the other side. Can we take a look at that? Yeah, sure, let's go. All right. The walkway you've got here is actually really nice and tall, isn't it? Yeah, this is a added feature that I wanted to be able to stand up and walk in here. So it's great. It just feels like a normal bedroom. Yeah. And just the whole house, I love the way that you've decorated everything. The plants, the crystals, the books, perfect combination. Yeah, absolutely, thank you. They are probably my three favorite things and can't have too many of them, right? Absolutely yeah. <laughs> not. And you've continued the theme with your bedspread as well. Yeah, absolutely. I love plants, I love the green. Even my sneakers have like plants on them and my boots have like <laughs> flowers and plants on them, so. Can't yeah. go wrong with that. And the bed's huge too. Yeah, so this is actually a king bed. My friend and neighbour Ruth encouraged me to get a king bed and it fits easily. I love having all the space. It feels super luxurious and yeah. you don't have to, yeah, can, I can have a king bed in a Thai house. You can't beat a king bed. Yeah, absolutely. Really nice full wardrobe up here too. Yes, so this is all my clothing is in here and yeah, it's everything I need. It's perfect. If I buy something new, I will give something else away just to keep everything flowing. So yeah. yeah. And again, lovely the way that you've got the windows up here, beautiful cross ventilation. Yeah, the windows up here are great. One of my favourite things in the morning, Emmy will end up in my bed throughout the night and I love leaning over here and opening this curtain and the view, like when you're lying back across the trees and looking up at the birds there, is just amazing. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. One of the things that I love in this design that is so important, especially when you're sharing the house with your daughter, is you both have completely shutting doors up here as well. So you've got that privacy when you need it. Yeah, that was really important for us both to have our enclosed spaces with the closed doors and everything. Yeah. yeah. And how long have you been living in the home now? It's about four months. We moved in at the end of March and it has been quite wet since we've been here. Yeah. Yeah, but having these last few beautiful weeks of winter sunshine and now that the mud has gone, yeah, we love it. This weather has been playing havoc on <laughs> everyone lately. It's made things so difficult. But the home looks great. Everything is beautifully set up. How is tiny house life working out for you? I adore it. Like, it's so much more amazing than I ever could have imagined. We've got everything that we need here. It's our beautiful, safe, nurturing space. We love having our friends here. We've got an incredible village. It is epic. It's amazing. So this place is our beautiful, safe, nurturing haven. But for me, what's deeper than that is like my number one value. The most important thing for me is my freedom. So freedom of time, being able to choose what I want to do, when I do it, like where does my energy want to flow today? What do I need? Where do I want to go? And so I have absolute freedom from running my own business from home to be able to design my whole life around that. So it's like I don't even want to go on holiday because like I'm already living this incredible life here, you know. <laughs> And what is it about the tiny house that has exceeded your expectation? So the house itself is just so easeful to live in and we have so much storage and so much space. Yeah. But then this parking spot, like being part of this amazing village and having my really good friend and her daughter just move in the cottage next door. So 
being part of a village and a community. Yeah, that community aspect in life is just so important, isn't it? And it's something we really miss so much from Western society. And I love that the tiny house movement to a degree is reclaiming that for us a bit. Yeah, it totally is because we don't have fences and we share a lot of meals, flow between everyone's houses. So sometimes you might have all three or four kids or sometimes you might not have any, but it's beautiful for them to be old enough to be able to flow and have that kind of independence. Yeah, life done together is easier. Oh, 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. we love it. And can we talk about the cost that was involved in building your home? So this was 190 and I got a few extras with the doors and the closed in walls, so it was 200. Nice and easy. Yep, super easy. I feel so empowered knowing that this is my home, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. For 200,000, this is a really great result. You've got a beautiful, spacious home here for that, don't you? Thank you. It's everything that we could have dreamed of. So now the home's complete and you're all moved in. What does the future hold for you now? What's next? We are going to pop in a spa pool here. Nice. It's going to be magical to sit out at night under the stars and listen to the more porks. Like being outside at night here is just so calming and beautiful. Yeah. And we just planted Bruce's gardens out with garlic, organic garlic. And nice. so we want to get more um, community gardens going up there. So it'll be getting the vegetables in the ground and growing some food as well as getting friends out here camping in the summer and we've been hosting ecstatic dance with one of the other neighbors so it would be really cool to have some you know ecstatic dancers out here barefoot on the grass cool what an amazing journey well kirsty i love your home this really is the most beautiful vision that you have perfectly manifested for you and your daughter thank you so much for sharing it with me Thank you, it's been a pleasure to have you guys here. A total full circle moment because I've been watching your guys' channel for like well over seven or eight years. So That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, it's lovely to be here. Thank you. You can really tell that Kirsty is a person who loves and values her freedom. And I love that building this tiny house has given that to both her and her daughter. This really is the most incredible place that they now call home. <laughs>